Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Sunday, December 26th, 2021. Today's puzzle has a title, it's called Pest Control. I wonder if we're going to have synonyms for the word pest hidden in the grid? I guess we'll find out. Alright, let's get started. One across. A point? Hmm. So you're like appointing someone to a position? A point. Hmm. Let's look at these downs here. Number of sides on a sign reading alto. Alto. Is this the word for stop in a different language? It kind of looks like it might be, right? Hmm. I'm not sure how many sides that would have. I don't even know what language this is in. Space. Could that be area, maybe? Hmm. I wonder if it is. Blank modder? Brain cover? Oh. Like, a human brain? Hmm. This seems like a biological word. I'm not sure what this is. Politico turned TV host. It seems like there's actually quite a few of these. I'm not sure who this is going to be. Form thoughts. Um, is this just another word for think? Hmm. Catch. I guess that could be get. Like you would a cold. Yeah. Had the opportunity to casually. Hmm. Had the opportunity to. I'm not sure. We're going to need more help there. Poker variety similar to Texas Hold'em. Didn't we just learn that there was a Omaha variety of poker? I wonder if area is wrong. Yeah. Maybe this could be room. And then that lets us put in Omaha. Omaha Hold'em. Okay. Um... Oh, you know what this probably is? This is probably Italian for stop. And then this could be the word for eight in Italian. That would be auto. Very tricky there. Boy, this corner is starting out pretty hard. A point. I'm still not sure what this should be. Had the opportunity to, hmm. Boy. Yeah, we're going to need more crossing help here. I think we're going to need this really long across, maybe to see some of these downs. I wonder if this is going to be a theme answer here. Yeah, it's in italics. It looks like a theme answer. One wearing chapstick, perhaps. Hmm, this is going to be tough to get without a lot of crossing help and no idea how the theme is working. Yeah, let's continue on into this section and hopefully we can get the end of it here. Echo, perhaps? I guess this could be kind of a misdirection. Maybe they're talking about an Amazon Echo. That's their little speaker, right? Um, I guess it could just be talking about an Echo as in a sound, too. School where a live bear used to take the field during football games. Hmm, sounds like it was probably an old Ivy school. I guess maybe it could be Yale? I don't know why they would have a bear mascot. Entertainment with a private audience. And this is wordplay, so I guess it's not going to be about a private screening of a movie or something? Um, you know what I bet it is? I bet it's an audience that's made of privates, like privates in the military. Maybe it could be a USO show? That's really clever. I like that a lot. Okay, so maybe this is a school in California, right? Because the bear is an animal that's on the California flag. Maybe it's UCLA? That could be. Seeks a favor, say. Maybe that could just be asks. Yeah. Blank favor? <laughs> Another favor? I think this is actually favor. I think this is Spanish. Por favor. Those are two really funny clues to be next to each other. Um, because por favor is literally like 
as a favor or something, right? In Spanish. Um, that's kind of the way to say please, right? Okay, people of the Southwest. Um, is this going to be native people? Hmm, maybe. Working hard. Working hard. Hmm. This is interesting. It's a Garand working hard. It almost feels like this should end in ing also, but there isn't enough room for that. Hmm. Java activity? Is this something you would do on the Isle of Java? Would it be looking at rhinos? We learned about a Javanese rhinoceros yesterday. Hmm. I have a feeling that's not what it's about. Product from Unave. Unave. Hmm. I'm not sure what this is. Yeah. Boo boo. This is like toddler speak, right? This should be an owie. Um. Hmm. That's actually too short though. Could it be two W's? Owie like that? That looks really weird. Um, hmm. Interesting. What is this looking like? Toothpick something? I don't know. Saves for later in a way. Hmm. This is asking for a specific way you could save something for later. Boy, this one's pretty tricky so far. Counterpart of thanks. An informal thanks. I guess that would be pulls. <laughs> a very informal please. This is so funny. What a pleading little section here. We have por favor asks for a favor and please in text speak. That's so funny. Um, Echo. Hmm. Could it be an app? Like an Amazon Echo app on your phone? Maybe. Lost. That's got to be at C. That's a very crosswordy answer. Hmm. Oh, you know what this is going to be? It's going to be ape. Yeah, when you ape something, you're kind of doing an impression of it, right? You're echoing it. Wow, that's really tricky. Okay, well, we got a little bit more help here. Um, tack. Hmm. I'm still kind of unsure about Owie over here. Let's do this corner and try and work back in and see if we can confirm it somehow. Wishy-washy response. It's not maybe. How does this start? Texter's qualifier. Hmm. In my opinion, maybe. Or maybe on the other hand, it could be a couple different things here. Hmm. Malice more formally. Okay, this is another theme answer. I don't think we have a prayer of getting this just yet. Be up against. Is this physically being up against something? Or is it being up against like an opponent? Hmm. One might be put through the ringer. I bet this is talking about a mop, right? You put a mop through the ringer. Yeah, I think it has to be. Geek Squad members, e.g. Um, well, Geek Squad is a service that fixes your computer, right? Are they going to be like IT people or techies or something? Hmm. I can thrill you more than any blank could ever dare try. Thriller lyric. Ooh. I've heard Thriller a million times. I'm not sure actually what he says here, though. Um, let's get a little bit of crossing help. The Glass Bead Game author in 1943. I have no idea. Pecan or Peach. Those are both very popular types of pie. Let's put in pies here. Um, hmm, it ends in P. An I at the end is weird too. Ploy. Hmm. A ploy. 
Interesting. Oh boy. We're running out of things to build off of up here. We might have to work up from the bottom. Antarctic coordinate, another theme answer. Oof, okay. Pimple lookalikes? Pimple? Um, I don't know. Uh, what could this be? So it's not acne, it's something that looks like acne? Is it like warts? Hmm, I don't know. Catch, an equivalent phrase. Maybe that's here? You say that as you're tossing something to someone? Baker's Joy Alternative. Is this gonna be something you actually use in baking, like an ingredient? I'm not sure if I've heard of this before. First side to vote. Is that yays? Yeah, like in Congress, that could be. Beginning stage. Hmm, it's not alpha. Is it part, like part one? That doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. Pimple lookalikes. Hmm, it's not styes, right? They don't really look like pimples, right? Hmm, and it's not cysts. This is probably an S. Blouse and brooch, perhaps. Boy, these theme answers are really preventing progress before we know how they're working. Yeah, hmm. I think if we get one, though, that'll start to really help. Let's move over into this section here. A man has cause for blank. Only when he sows and no one reaps. Charles Goodyear. Um... Hmm. I don't know. I guess it could be like anger or sadness or something. I don't know. Record speeds for short. Okay, this is a nice little misdirection here. This is not about setting record speeds in a car or something. I think this is going to be the speed that records spin at. It's going to be revolutions per minute. Yeah, RPMs. That's very good. Okay. Um... Is it regret? Maybe it is regret. That sounds pretty good, yeah. Blank course. This could be talking about a lot of different things. It could be talking about food or golf. There might be a catch with this. A catch. Maybe a mitt? Wow, that is a very tricky misdirection. Yeah, it's not like a catch in a clause in a contract. You would catch a ball in a mitt. Man, this Sunday Puzzles clues are cranked up pretty hard today. I'm kind of enjoying this. Okay, form of nepotism symbolically. So this is about showing your family members favoritism. Hmm, is it like about a son being a part of a business or something? It's symbolically. Boy, I don't know what that's gonna be. Adams of New York City politics. That has to be Eric Adams, right? The new mayor? Okay. Antelope say? Oh my god, this is another theme answer going down. We don't just have them on the acrosses. Wow, the theme density here is very impressive. I have no idea what this is gonna be though. Um, I'm still not having any ideas for this one. Does this make sense yet? Hmm. Yeah, nothing's ringing any bells. And this is the form of nepotism. Hmm. Boy, I don't know. Can we get this middle section? It usually works in corners. Works in corners. Oh man, this is really tough. Let's see if we can build some more in the middle here. Parable or allegory? Hmm. Is it a tail? Devices with nunchucks. Devices with nunchucks. Aren't nunchucks weapons? Doesn't Michelangelo use nunchucks? How could a device use nunchucks? Hmm. 
Business News Magazine. It's not Forbes. Is it Inc? I think there's a magazine called Inc. Yeah. Let's see if we can build off of that. Bit of Tinder. Could that be a twig? Oh man, making a little bit of progress here. Java activity. Hmm. It looks like it might be ING at the end. Yeah. I guess it could be talking about Java the coding language. Could it be coding? <laughs> that would be pretty clever. Hmm. Is this going to end in an S? Devices. Oh, the Nintendo Wii. Those controllers are called nunchucks, aren't they? Wii's. Ah, oh, that was so hard. I never had a Wii, so yeah, that didn't come to mind immediately. Um, okay. New York City Transport stopping at Kennedy Airport. All right, I definitely know this. This has to be, I think, either the A train or the C train. I think we can rule out C train because of ST here. Let's put in A train and see if that helps. For shame, an equivalent phrase. I guess it could be tut tut or tisk tisk maybe. I don't know which it's gonna be. Slugging stat, that's definitely gonna be runs batted in. Um, hmm. I think maybe we can rule out tisk tisk here. Let's put in tut tut maybe. Um, that UBLIC looks good. It looks like it's going to be public. Blouse and brooch, perhaps. You know what? If you take off a B on both of these words, you get louse and roach, right? And our theme is called pest control. Hmm, these would be both considered pests, right? Um, public something why would it be public something um hmm interesting well i think we made a little bit of progress here is that how the rest of these work too are there critters hidden in these clues if you take a letter away one wearing chapstick perhaps it doesn't seem like it on this one Hmm. That's really interesting, though. Louse and Roach. Hmm. Big name in women's hair and skincare. It seems like there's a lot of possible names there. Is it just Avon? I don't know. Boo Boo. Oh. Another Boo Boo. Hmm. Maybe this is where we could put our Owie. And then let's take this away because this seems like it was hurting instead of helping. Boo boo. Hmm. Yeah. Herd member? That could be a U. Like autumn air? That's got to be crisp. Okay. I'm still not sure if I know this one. Member of the in crowd. And this is wordplay, so it's not going to be about being cool in the in crowd. And this is in with two ends. So this has to be about staying in an in somehow. Member of the in crowd. Hmm. Interesting. Public something. Shoot. I thought we might be able to get this one here. Hmm. Form of nepotism symbolically. Is it school ties? It's starting to look like that's what it's going to be, right? School ties? I guess, is that because if your parent went to a school, you're more likely to be able to get into that school? And a school tie would represent that? Wow, that's very abstract. School ties. Hmm. Yeah. It usually works in corners. Is that a stapler? Yeah, putting that P in there in my mind helped me see that one. Okay. Um, it is public. I have no idea. Economist, author, Emily. I don't know if I know this person. Antelope. Is it gothic? 
You know what? This could just be about an ant, right? Hmm. And you're taking elope off. Ooh, that is very interesting. Okay, so maybe how this is working, you don't just take one letter away. Maybe you take any amount of letters necessary away to get to the pest. Or maybe you're taking the pest away, actually, because it's pest control, right? So maybe the clue should be elope, say, after you eliminate the pest. Elope, yeah, maybe this is going to be about getting married. Yeah, that could be got hitched, right? Oh man, what a fun theme. This is great. Okay, so in this clue then we should be getting rid of louse and roach, right? So this should be B and B perhaps. Ooh, so this is going to be public something. Maybe it's going to be about an inn you could stay at. Um, could that be called a public house? I think it could be. Oh man, that's fantastic. What a fun theme. I'm loving this. And now that we have how the theme is working, I think we're going to be able to make a lot of progress back up in this top section. Um, I still have no idea what this is. Okay, so this is going to be a guest at an inn, a guest at a public house, yeah. Beginning stage. Is that a germ? Like a germ of an idea? Yeah. Um, maybe this is styes. Yeah, I guess. Let's put that in and see if that works. Baker's Joy alternative. Is it Pam? Is that like a uh, non-stick spray maybe? Yeah. All right. So are we eliminating an ant yet again? Arctic coordinate? Yeah, that could be the North Pole, right? That's a nice little holiday clue. I love that. All right. Um, let's come back to this one and see if we can find the pest here. One wearing chapstick perhaps. Hmm, I see a tick here. That's definitely a pest. One wearing chaps, perhaps. Okay, um, well, I guess I would think of like a cowboy as someone that could wear chaps. Yeah, hmm, maybe the end is gonna be rider? Could be some kind of like horseback rider? I don't know. Let's put in Ryder and see if that helps. Um, this is looking a little weird though. Java activity. Is it not USO show? I wonder if that was throwing us off up here. I bet it's USO though still. Maybe it's USO tour instead. Yeah, and then this could be coding. Oh man, it was talking about the programming language. We were so close there, okay. Uh, an ave. Yeah, I'm not sure what that is. I think this is Spanish. I'm not 100% sure though. A boo-boo could be an error. Yeah, that's not really cutesy toddler language, but yeah. Okay. Um, hmm. Maybe working hard could be at it. Yeah, I think originally I thought that that's what I wanted it to be, but USO show looked so good. I didn't have the courage to actually put it in. Yeah, okay, so this is looking like Apache. There we go. Yeah, getting that O out of there helped see that. Is this a huevo, an egg? I guess that would be from a bird. Maybe an ave is a bird, that makes sense. Oh, this is TiVo's saves for later. That's very tricky. We're talking about a DVR, yeah. Um, hmm, it is a rider of some kind. I have no idea how it's going to start though. Hmm. Form thoughts. Is that like ideate or something? I think that's a word that can mean thinking. Yeah. A point. IG looks really weird. A point. Hmm. Interesting. Well, it would be very helpful if we could get this answer going up here. Um, it's not prof course, is it? Like a professor's course? It sounds a little strange. 
place as ceramic tiles. I wonder if that's going to be inset. Um, hmm. Is this Al Sharpton? That would make a lot of sense. Yeah. Prop. Prop course. I don't think I know what this is. I'm not familiar with this phrase. Goose, what is a prop course? Hmm. Okay. Um, had the opportunity to casually. I wonder if something's wrong over here. Is that possible? Boy. Yeah, this should be ordain, right? Like you would a priest. So this is not get. This is net, maybe? Yeah. Oh, man, that's tricky. Oof. Um, you know what? I think net is still wrong. This should be horseback rider, right? Oh, maybe this isn't Italian. Maybe it's Spanish. Yeah, just like our huevo over here. Yeah, so this is going to be ocho. Oh, man, that really threw us off. And then this is going to be horseback rider, like we were thinking. This is not net, it's nab. That's another word for catching, right? And then this is coulda. Ah, oh, God, that took so long to see. And then this is dura mater. Boy, yeah. My deficiency in romance languages really hurt us up here. <laughs> there was a lot of Spanish to get through. Okay, um, maybe we can finish this corner now? Is that possible? Hmm. I don't know. There's some tricky stuff up here. Oh, malice. Here we go. Lice. That's a pest. Okay, so this should be ma more formally. Shouldn't that be mother? Oh, so this is not pies. That was definitely hurting us. Okay. Mother. All right. So this should be IMO then, in my opinion, I think. In my opinion. Maybe this could be I might. That's wishy-washy. Be up against. Maybe that could be opposed. Yeah, that could be in the sense of a competition, right? Hmm. Maybe this is IT pros. This is ghoul. I can thrill you more than any ghoul could ever dare try. That sounds appropriately spooky. Uh, oof, is this Hess? That's only a guess though. And then a ploy, that should be a ruse. Oh wait, what did this turn out to be? Oh, this is a tree. Yeah, a pecan or peach tree. That's almost a misdirection. I don't know how anybody could see both of those and not think of pie, yeah. That's a very clever ruse. All right, so this was Hess, excellent, all right. All right, I feel like we're picking up speed now that we know how the theme is working. It has many beet and beef options. Hmm. Where's the pest here? Is it bee? Are bees pests? I don't know. Um, hmm, what would that give us though? It has many T and F options. Okay, that does sound like something. Um, maybe they're talking about a true and false test? Yeah, I think that is what it's gonna be, okay. True, false, test, yeah. Oh, I kind of feel bad for the bees though. They're important pollinators. I don't wanna call them pests. We'll just keep them to the side. We won't eliminate them, yeah. Okay, Great Lakes Natives. Um, I think maybe that's gonna be Eries. Kind of bean, could be a fava bean. Taiwanese electronics giant. Hmm, I'm not sure if I know this one. Relative of a club for short. Of a club. CL? That's interesting. What kind of a club are they talking about? I wonder if they're talking about a club sandwich. That would make this a BLT. It's not crisp? Oh man, it's brisk? Oh geez, there's been some nasty answers today that could have gone one of two ways. And we've picked the wrong one a couple of times. Okay, so this is gonna be BLT, excellent. GI blank? <laughs> this is so funny. This is not about a GI that would see a USO tour show. 
This is going to be about your gastrointestinal tract. It's a very tricky misdirection there. I really like that one. Okay, yeah, still don't know that. Ending with invent. Maybe that's inventive. Is this Acer? Yeah, I think they make computers. Okay. Is this another theme answer? Nice. Okay. Tickled. Okay, let's get rid of the tick. And then we have a lead. Hmm. Lead. That's kind of ambiguous. I guess this could be about, like, leading an expedition. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder if we can get these downs here. Put over the moon. This is tricky. It has put. It could be present tense or past tense. It's probably about making someone really happy. Hmm. It's not elate. One hanging around Queen Elizabeth. And this is wordplay, so it's not going to be about Queen Elizabeth's retinue. Um, hmm. Maybe it's like a jewel or something. Something that would be literally hanging around her. Could it be a jewel? That J would be really weird. Hmm, I don't know. They can be graphic. Like a graphic novel, maybe? Snowpiercer error. That's right, they made a television series about Snowpiercer. I have no idea where it's airing, though. Shoot, okay. Blank Winter, a longtime Vogue editor-in-chief. I believe that's Anna Winter. I think I've seen her on Crosswords before. Um, hmm. Hanging around. I don't know. Pop fly. Okay, so we can get rid of a fly here. So it's just pop. There are so many options there. It could be about soda. It could be about a father, maybe. Hmm. It could be about a loud sound. Sporting a certain natural style. I wonder if this is about going around naked. Um, is it like a French term or something? I don't know. Match. Hmm. Well, let's not start fresh if we don't have to. Um, could we build off of got hitched maybe? Word before film and after clip. Art film? Clip art? Yeah, both of those sound good. Okay. You can count on them. Is that going to be the plural of abacus? Abacai? Very tricky. That's a very hard plural to see there. Sport at the Special Olympics. Um, I don't know. Is it bocce? Just trying to think of something that could fit here. Not be able to stand. Is it ache? That doesn't really make sense. It's too short. Hmm. Member of the modern workforce. Is this about like a gig worker? I don't know. Like most dorms nowadays. Uh, I guess that would be co-ed. <laughs> I was going to say empty, but thankfully I think people are starting to go back to school. Um, blank be an honor. I guess it'd be it'd be an honor. Is this robot? Yeah, I guess there's a lot of robots in manufacturing. Oh, this is not about not being able to stand up. This is about not being able to tolerate something. This is abhor. Oh, that's great. Okay. Maybe this is bocce. Haddock relative? Yeah, haddock is a fish. That could be cod. Um, I guess this is Emily Oster. Maybe I have seen her name once or twice. Yeah. Let's move back over here place for boarding. Is this going to be another clue about a public house where a guest could stay? Boarding. Hmm. I have a feeling it's not about room and board. Place for boarding. Maybe it's about like snowboarding? I don't know. I'm about to tell you something shocking. That should definitely be sit down. A very good equivalent phrase. Okay. Calling. Could this be about a person's calling? Like the profession they were destined to go into? Hmm. Screw up. This is about a mistake of some kind. Hmm. Is this another theme answer? 
Oh, it's not. Okay. War and Peace. In War and Peace. Um, I guess, is it just talking about the title War and Peace? Or are they talking about like themes of the book? Themes would fit at the end here. I wonder if it's like meta themes or something. Could this be an H? Hmm, it could be. T-H-E-M-E-S, hmm. Is this an S? Lip or cheek? Oh man, this is another really tricky misdirection. This is not about parts that make up your face. This is going to be about sass. Both lip and cheek are different words for sass, right? That is very tricky, I love that clue. Um, okay, maybe we've got themes here. This could be an E, maybe? Novu Mexique, e.g. Um, I guess this is the French word for the American state, New Mexico. So maybe we're looking for the French word for state here. That would be etat, right? Like in coup d'etat. All right, I'm feeling fairly confident in themes here. Focus of modern mining. Would that be data mining? We're not mining ore anymore. Considerations for NCAA eligibility. I guess maybe that's GPAs. Yeah, you have to have a certain GPA to play sports in the NCAA, right? Okay. Doesn't put it all on one pony. Is this about betting? Maybe it's hedges, bets, possibly? Hmm. Takes by force. That could be rests. That's a good word there. Can we get this down? Excellent. Okay, we have another theme answer. Looks like we can eliminate the roach here. App for directions. Hmm. Is that just going to be Google Maps? Excellent. Okay. Prefix with thermal. That's got to be geothermal. Wet bar. And this is wordplay, so this is not going to be a place where you could get alcoholic drinks. Um... What other kind of wet bar could you have? Hmm, maybe like a shower rod? I don't know. One time collaborator with Ice Cube and Dr. Dre. I think that was Easy e maybe? I think they were all in NWA together. Okay, some sports tournaments. Hmm, it's not round robin. Interesting. Oh, it was about the shower at least. I think this is going to be soap. We were very close. That's great. Okay. Sauce. Hmm. Another word for sauce? It's not gravy. I wonder if this is opens actually, like the US Open. Yeah. What is this? Le Trois Petit Cocons? French fable? Uh, the three small something? I'm not sure what this last word is. Hopefully the goose can fill us in on that one. Okay. Um, word with story or sister. Hmm. Sister. I don't know. Person helping with a delivery. Okay, so this is not going to be about FedEx or something. This is going to be a baby delivery. That's an OBGYN. That's another tricky misdirection. This puzzle has been great with the misdirections. Screw up. Maybe this could be botch? Yeah, like you could botch a surgery. Okay, um, hmm. Oh, did I spell easy E wrong? Maybe that's with a Z. And then this could be booze, another slang term for alcohol. What another great clue there. Okay, so this is sob story. Sob sister. I'm not 100% sure what sob sister is. I think I've heard it before though. Calling. Yeah, that could be your niche. That is kind of like the meaning we were discussing before. Yeah, you found kind of what you're good at. Okay. Um, it is looking like themes is correct. Place for boarding. Oh, this is a kennel. It's where you would board your dog. It kind of was about a public house. It's a public house for dogs. That's so funny. What a fun little mini theme in the center here. 
Um, okay, so maybe this is main themes. That makes sense. Suvari of American Beauty. Oh man, I think her name is Mina. If I remember correctly, it's something close to that. It might be an I instead of an E here. Sounds heard in 93 across. Spring locales. Well, it sounds like it's gonna be an S here. Um, maybe this could be spas. Yeah, you could have a hot spring in a spa. And then this could be Oz, sounds of relaxation. Okay, surround as with light, that's gotta be in Halo. All right, um, destructive 2021 hurricane. I think that was Hurricane Ida. With it in old slang, that has to be Hep. If you were a Hep cat, you were very cool. Um, tickled, okay, that's right. Okay, so this is lead. Um, hmm. I wonder if this is an A instead of an H. Yeah, same meaning. And then this can be spearheaded. That could be lead. Excellent. Oof, that was tough to see. Okay. Um, maybe this is a pearl. It was kind of about jewelry, right? All right, we were on the right track there. Maybe they're even talking about the Cambridge Lover's Knot that we saw a day or two ago. That pearl bedazzled tiara, yeah. I think she wore that when she was younger. Okay, put over the moon. I guess that could be send. This is a very crosswordy word. Um, I only see it used like this on crosswords, but yeah, you can use send to mean you're like sending people into fits of ecstasy, but yeah, it can just be the word send. Like they sent me means I was very excited, yeah. Okay, they can be graphic. Maybe that could be graphic tees, like a t-shirt that has a graphic on it. Yeah. Okay, so this is maybe TNT for Snowpiercer error. I'm still not sure about this one. Pop fly, right, so this is just pop. Hmm. Yeah, this didn't help that much. Let's get more help on the end here, hopefully avoids. It's not sidesteps. Sarge's boss. Okay, so this is informal language, Sarge. So this could maybe be a lieutenant. Could that be a Louis? More informal language? Yeah. John Wayne by birth. Hmm. Is it a different first name? Or maybe it's where he's from? who ran against George Washington for president. Um, wasn't it no one? <laughs> didn't he run unopposed? Um, he didn't even have to run, right? Wasn't he just kind of appointed? Maybe I'm wrong about that. Hmm. Squeezes out could be ekes out. All right, is this another theme answer here? Ooh, here we go. We get a revealer actually. Gradually fix something, or what to do to understand this puzzle's italicized clues. Uh, yeah, I think this is going to be work out the bugs, maybe? Um, yeah, I wonder if this is not going to be bets. Um, let's see if that fits here. Work out the bugs. That is fantastic. What a great revealer. Um, and we are literally working out the bugs in every theme answer. I guess this is maybe going to be bet, and then maybe this is going to be hedges a bet. Yeah, maybe. Some family babysitters. Hmm. So maybe this is going to be like an older sister or an older brother? Is that right? Tortoise's challenge to the hare. That has to be race me, right? Okay. The Venetian way. And this is wordplay, so I guess it's not going to be about following some kind of philosophy that was developed in Venice. Um, maybe it's about Venetian blinds? Oh, no, it's going to be about the canals in Venice. 
It's going to be about a way to get around in Venice. That's very clever. It's going to be a canal. I love it. Okay. Letters on dreidels. Oh no, this is going to be a Hebrew letter. I'm not great with those. Let's put an S here though. Taj Mahal's home. That's definitely in Agra. Okay. Exam that once required a fingerprint identification for short. Is that the law school admissions test? That's wild. Okay. Intimates or intimates? Um, it's looking like intimates, right? Because it's looking like you're hinting at something, gets at, what are you getting at? What are you intimating? Yeah. Okay. Folklore villain could be a hag. Supreme Egyptian God. Oh man. One of the many spellings of Amen-Ra. This vowel here can be one of a few options. You sometimes see it with an O and even more rarely with a U here. Amun-Ra, Amun-Ra, Amen-Ra are all acceptable answers for this kind of clue here. Okay. Letters that complete the word Propriae. It's looking like appropriate, maybe? Yeah, apt. <laughs> I guess those are apt letters to finish appropriate. Yeah, that's cute because apt and appropriate are synonyms. Very clever. Okay. Um, so maybe this is Nana's. Yeah, I bet Nana would do a lot of family babysitting. Blank chance could maybe be not a chance. A number one could be top, something very good. Good thing to be in. Um, hmm, this is a very general clue. Good thing to be in. Let's get some help there. Demon of Japanese folklore. Ooh, I wonder if I've heard of this. It's not looking familiar right away though. I wonder if this could be shirks. That would be avoiding responsibility. That's another very tricky word. Um, hmm. Maybe John Wayne is an Iowan? He could have been born in Iowa. That sounds very plausible. What's used to catch some waves? Hmm. This seems like it's a tricky misdirection too. I wonder if they're not talking about a surfboard here. Maybe they're talking about an antenna and it's not shirks. Ooh, I thought that was a great answer. Let's put in antenna here. Um, maybe it's skirts, okay. Yeah, that's another word for avoiding something. This should be no one. Oh, I just spelled Louis wrong. It's Louis with two O's, okay. And then this is no one. Famous cryptid familiarly. A cryptid is a kind of legendary monster. I think this is gonna be Nessie. That's the Loch Ness Monster's nickname, right? Very cute, okay. And Oni, yeah, I do think I've seen this. Yeah, it is a demon, okay. And then this is Tune, good thing to be in. Yes, it is good to be in Tune. Okay, so we got Drink at the end of this one. That's very good. Okay, so this is Pop, so that's gonna be a soft drink, right? It was about a soda after all. Hmm. I wonder what this is, sporting a certain natural style. I wonder if it's about an afro, like the haircut. Um, I don't know how you would turn that into an adjective though. No longer squeaky, one hopes. Um, is that gonna be oiled? Like the squeaky wheel gets the grease or the oil? Yeah. Nickname for the French Alexandre. I don't know what this is talking about. Hmm. Is this just talking about the French name Alexandre and like a nickname that would be used for that person? Hmm. Match. I'm still not sure about that. Match. Hmm. Alternative to Dropbox. This is like a file storage service. Hmm. I don't really use those. I'm not sure what that should be. Briefly, ooh, another theme answer. Okay, so we're dropping the fly, it looks like. So this is gonna be Brie. 
I guess that would be a cheese. Bum out. This is about making someone sad. Hmm. Exercise. That could be use, maybe. Like you would a power that you have. You would exercise some kind of power, yeah. Animal house. Hmm. I guess it could be a den. Like maybe where a wolf might sleep. Not wolf blitzer, though. Let's try den. Yeah. Maybe it's iCloud. Isn't that Apple's kind of cloud storage service? Bum out could be satin. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe it is just afroad. I guess that's how you turn it into an adjective. Okay. Is this Sasha? Is that a nickname for Alexandre? That's so funny. I would never have guessed that. Okay. Sasha. Um... Maybe this is pear, that's a match. And then that leaves us with picks for snaps. Okay, yeah, that looks really good. Let's put that P in there and see if that does it for us at over an hour. Aw, oh, shucks. It looks like we have a mistake. All right, let me see if I can track it down and I'll come back to you when I find it. Ah, uh, I just came back to this answer that wasn't making sense when we got it filled in originally. I'm sure the goose was letting me know that I had something wrong on the down here. It looks like elope is present tense, but I put in a past tense answer here. I put in got hitched instead of get hitched, which is what it should be. And then this is prep course, which is something I've heard of. Oof, what a mistake. Well, it cost us a few minutes, but let's see if that does it for us. All right, a Sunday puzzle in 109. That is a very long Sunday time. Only a few minutes of that was looking for our error at the end there. I think this puzzle was about 20 minutes longer than our average solve time for a Sunday. Yeah, but I absolutely loved this puzzle. This theme was phenomenal. There was just so much wordplay in the grid in addition to the wordplay that was in the theme answers. Yeah. Oh man, and we had this fantastic revealer too. Work out the bugs. That was so fun uncovering how that theme was working. That you had to get rid of all the little critters that were hidden in the theme clues. We had ticks and ants and the louses. Yeah, that was really fun. And it makes logical sense because the title of the puzzle is Pest Control. It really took us a long time to cotton on to how that was working though, yeah. I think we hit the 30 minute mark and we still hadn't figured out how the theme was working. Yeah. But once we finally got it figured out, stuff started to fall in a little more easily. But I would still say the cluing on this puzzle was definitely more challenging than an average Sunday puzzle. We had a lot of great wordplay clues like the clue for soap, wet bar, that's really fun. I also really liked this wordplay clue for USO Tour. Entertainment with a private audience. That's very clever. I really loved the clue for Mitt, too. There was so much tricky misdirection like this on today's puzzle. There might be a catch with this. Boy, that one was tough to see. I love it, though. I love that the difficulty on this puzzle was because of a really creative theme and very tricky cluing like this one. OBGYN was similarly tricky. Person helping with a delivery. You think that this might be about a delivery person, right? Like somebody that works for the post office? Yeah, that's great. And this one too. Place for boarding? That definitely made me think of skateboarding or something, yeah. Not a place for boarding dogs. I just love that kind of trickiness. All right, well, this is already a very long video, so I won't go over all the amazing clues and answers, but I do want to thank you for helping me work out the bugs on this very challenging Sunday solve. I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the nice, easy Monday puzzle, and I think that's going to do it for now. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye.